Okay, so here we are at this little house in Bayfield. Can't remember the street, 14 something, but there's the shared garage in the backyard. Front of the house, two car garage there. And in the street is the city park, has the rodeo grounds, two ballparks, playgrounds, soccer fields. Old school system there, which is why the park is at the end of the street. And so we'll go and see if we can walk through this house pretty quick here. Got a nice little entry in here. There is enough room in here to put a bench, something to take your shoes off, stuff like that. That'd be kind of cool. So we step into the living room here. And you could use this area out here for dining area if you wanted and have living room there. Kind of depending on how you had furnishings set up. Kitchen. Flooring in here is in good shape. Kitchen, not so much. Focus, focus. There we go. So a few issues there in the flooring in the kitchen. Small refrigerator. New cabinets, easy close cabinets, copper sink, dishwasher, island there, range. I'll go back here, we've got the utility room, old laminate square tiling stuff in here, dryer there, um, wash machine hook up there, um, small little room here. Go around the corner here to the left. Um, we've got the bathroom here. Done a nice job with the bathroom. They got tile flooring down here. Double vanity, mirrors, lights. Nice little tile job in the, in the bathroom here. And we go out here and we've got Two bedrooms. This bedroom they were probably using as the main bedroom. Um, we got um, old the old style windows here with these um, old style um, blocks, and then storm windows outside that. Um, old style cabinets there. Um, the, the wood is actually old. It's good solid plywood, so that's kind of nice. You know, there's no nothing fake there. Um, this room is a little funky because we have windows that open up into the garage. Um, that's that. Um, let's see. Does this? Okay, that's just a linen closet there. Got a pantry right here. A little bit small is a pantry that doorway goes down to the cellar small cellar it just sits underneath the bathroom um, okay let's go upstairs we've got kind of nice railings there That same floor in there, and you step down into the bedroom area here. Um, we got sloped roofs in here. Got two rooms kind of up here. I mean, they don't have separate doorways, but um, Yeah, I was thinking that if it were me, I would probably take out those closets right there, make this one room up here, and then make a, a bathroom up here also, and make this the master up here. This probably goes up like this because they've got um, rafters and stuff 
underneath here. So they probably had to do that because they've got strokes full rafters underneath here. And then I have to hurry here. My little battery light just came on. Yeah, I guess. So we're gonna go out here to the garage. Um, two car garage, kind of nice size here. That goes out to the back door. That's the funky window. There's the asbestos siding that we talked about. Dean and Matt talked about that, which kind of depending on how you look at things, that may or may not be an issue. Um, definitely an issue if you go to sell the house. So, and I'm sure that's why they mention in the MLS that the owner is not making any repairs to the house, which would mean that she's not taking care of the asbestos. Um, legally, I don't know if they can do that or not. But anyway, there's the house. I'll look forward to hearing your comments. Catch you later.